So I woke up today. Um, or let me let me move back. Last week, if you remember, Android 14 for regular Pixel devices on the stable build, right? If you're not, if you're on the beta, you got good news today. If you're on the stable build, you've already gotten this update, right? You got the January security patch. Uh, I believe it was about last week. Now, if you didn't know, the people that are on the beta software that are in the beta program, as as I am, as we are. Um, they typically get their updates a week later, a week after the stable build. Um, and Google released the update today. So I'm actually letting my phone charge. Oh, I'm going to uh, check this out. See that the bumper on there? I did a case review for this bumper that I'm going to upload the video when this is done. Um, it's pretty cool to check it out. Um, I think I'm going to give it away. So if anybody wants it, this this bumper case, hit me up in the comments. I'll ship it to you for free. Uh, it's for the Pixel 8 Pro. And uh, stay tuned because I'm going to upload it. But we did get the uh, January security patch for Pixel devices running on beta software. So what's what does it entail, right? What is it involved? What did they fix? What did they change? Um, well, I got everything for you right here. Let me remove this banner. Get that out of the way. And let's jump into it. So here, here's everything that was fixed and or changed in Android 14 QPR2 Beta 3. So here is the complete list. Resolved developer user reported issues. So these are this is everything that was fixed. Now these this list will be more extensive, more in depth, more bug fixes than the stable build. Beta build is pre is pre release software, obviously pretty self explanatory, but that means that there's more tweaks in the software that means that there's you know they're testing things out that's what a beta is so you're always going to see not always but typically you're going to see uh, almost always more bug changes more fixes um and even more features in this um change log here so they fixed an issue where spirv sequences of op shift left followed by whatever uh, looks like input um, fixes for arm Vulcan driver 43 and 44 fixed issues that sometimes caused Bluetooth connections to be interrupted for some devices I think I've had this once maybe twice if I can remember I think in the last month or so fixed issues were sometimes uh, fixed issues that sometimes cause a device to crash or become unresponsive after restarting. I have not had that issue, uh, but if you have, this update will fix it. And they also fixed issues that in some rare cases cause devices to reboot while in idle mode. Basically rebooting while the screen is off, um, uh, device on, screen off mode. Fixed an issue that caused live wallpapers to stop animating interesting they also fixed an issue that prevented google assistant from activating in some cases i've had that sometimes look it seems to always work on my live stream uh, but whenever i say the key phrase g-o-o-g-l-e it'll boom it'll pop up my system on the pixel and then when i want to use it like whenever i'm not uh streaming it sometimes tends to not work. So I'm glad to see that they um, fixed that as well. And now here are some other resolved issues as well. Uh, uh, fixed an issue where sometimes cause multi-finger gestures to stop working. Um, fixed the issue where device's screen didn't initially turn on. So it looks like they have a number of fixes here, right? I mean, these are some pretty important stuff. So. Fixed an issue that sometimes caused higher than usual CPU usage during video playback. That will drain your battery. Um, but I'm glad to see they fixed it. Audio, uh, they, they fixed a poor audio quality. 
um, on, on higher power consumptions. I mean, look at all this stuff. Fixed swipe up. Because look, when we did the review of the uh, stable build January security patch last week, there was like three or four things and that was it. Basically, uh, just a light, it was more security than anything. It was more security um, updates than feature updates. And this one, obviously the, the security is in there, but my God, that's a lot more fixes than the in the stable build. Um, with all of the news that we're going to go over today, I have everything down below. So if there's something, if you want to review this um, after we go live, if there's something you see you want to double check or look into a little more, please come back to our video and check out the description box. When we're done, I'll post the links down there. Um, but you, you can do it, right? It's available right now. Um, as you can tell, it, uh, a fixed a system stability, performance, connectivity, camera, and accessibility. Wow, that's a lot. So simply go to your settings app uh, and go just go to the uh, search icon and just search update and it'll pop up right there. That's the easiest thing to do is when you go to the settings, just search for what you're looking for. That is the easiest way. Now, um, real quick, I wonder how big this update is. Um, let's see i don't believe you know what let's find out right now because i haven't turned mine on mine mine's still charging it says in the very last thing additionally there is a bug in this build that reads as follows the assistant at a glance widget sometimes displays weather information in the wrong location uh they fixed that as well let's see how big this update is Oh, that's the issue tracker. I don't need that. I need this. Let's see. How big is it? So here you see January 10th is the release date. Build AP 11.23. 1215.007. I wonder if Google Play services got updated. Uh, I'll look into that later. Um, how big is it? What are we looking at? Is it a big update? What's the deal? Check this out. I'll find out right now. So I'm going to go to settings. I'm going to go to search for update. And come on, preparing system update. Let me show you here. Come on now. I'm on live. Well, I just started the phone, so you know how it is. Um, anyways, it's available for anybody running the beta build. Now, I believe it goes all the way um, to the 5A, I think is where they is the cutoff for these um, updates, right? So if you have an 8 Pro and you're running, uh, or 8 Pro down to the 5A and you're running beta software any, on any one of those Pixel devices, including Pixel Tablet, Pixel Fold, all of the updates, are available the uh, January security patch. So, anyways, um, I'll let y'all know later how big it is. I may put it in the description box after this. It's not like it's that important, but 